welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to Cooking Today. Glad you're here, as always. Sure would be fun if you were sitting in here in the kitchen with me. I have a good time. Love to have a good visit. I am making a delicious, fresh, steamed shrimp and homemade cocktail sauce. You know, I've said before we were on vacation, and y'all, the eating on vacation is the best. Isn't it one of your favorite parts about vacation? It's one of our favorite things anyway. All these fun different little like neat restaurants and we cooked some really great food while we were down on our trip and one of the things that we loved the absolute most was this steamed shrimp. Now we actually went to like a little fish market and had them steam them for us. But I started, you know, we did it twice while we were there. And I watched and I thought, I can do that at home, I feel sure. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Not only are we going to make steamed shrimp, but we're going to make homemade cocktail sauce that is just a little bit sweet with a little bit of heat in it because we love that little bit of heat after you. It's kind of one of those where you eat it and it's all good on that chilled buttery shrimp. And then you like leave the room and all of a sudden you go, whew, that cocktail sauce has a little bite. Super delayed. Like it sneaks up on you and it is perfection. I love it. And to go with our steamed shrimp and our homemade cocktail sauce, I am making an awesome fresh corn tomato and feta salad. Just a nice light summertime meal. You just cannot beat that, can you? So let's start on our corn. I've got these ears of corn that I went ahead and shucked and they had some kind of rough, you know, rough places on the ends. So I went ahead and just trimmed those off and I have boiling water on the stove. Now one thing that's important is, you know, we love salty corn, but a lot of times if you put salt in the water when you're doing your corn, it actually kind of dries it out a little bit. So I have not salted the water, but, whew, this is hot, but I am going to put in a little, like a half a stick of unsalted butter down inside here because, you know, we like to get a little bit of flavor as we go, and then I'm adding in about a quarter cup of sugar as well. So we're going to let that just kind of melt and stir itself in. We don't really even need to mess with it. And I'm going to carefully set my corn down in here. Now, we're going to kind of double cook this corn. We're going to give it a little boil first to get it just a little bit tender. Then we're going to pull it out and let it cool and stick it on my indoor grill pan to get some neat little like charred marks on the outside of it. Flavor, flavor, flavor. So delish. So we're going to do that. So while that, I'm going to bring that back up to a boil, put my lid on, and let my corn do its thing. Now, like I said, we don't want to let that boil forever. We want to let it boil for about five minutes only, just to get it the littlest bit tender, but not completely soft. So I'm going to set my timer, and we're going to let that go. Now, we are going to make our cocktail sauce. This is just so good. I've already told you. kind of sneaks up on you. It's so good. And when you eat it with that shrimp, mm, and I can't wait to tell you about the shrimp that I got. So, cocktail sauce. Here's what we're putting in it. I'm not going to measure. I'm going to eyeball. We're doing about a cup. Okay? A cup of just regular old ketchup a teaspoon of Worcestershire. It adds just a little bit of salt, like a little savory in there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then we're gonna add in some lemon to our soy sauce. And what it does is it just kind of brightens it up. You know, lemon always is a little surprised how many things that are actually made that have lemon in it. 
And I'm just going to do, this one is a very juicy big lemon. So I'm really only going to do half of that. You can certainly taste as you go, which I always suggest. And add a little bit more in there if you really like the way that it tastes. I love the lemon. I'm going to save that just in case I decide that I'm going to add it in later. Now for the heat, that little bit of zing, I'm doing two teaspoons of horseradish. You know, I'm a fan. I use horseradish a lot when I need a little heat. Horseradish is one of my very first go-tos, isn't it? And then we're going to do our little seasonings and spices. Here is a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, not salt. You know, we've talked about that before. Garlic powder. And then last but not least, a little bit of this ground red pepper, cayenne. Quarter teaspoon of cayenne. And that's it, we're gonna whisk it up, taste it, see if we need to do anything more or less to it. And then we're just gonna let it camp out. And we're gonna check on our corn and when we come back, we're gonna start steaming shrimp. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Hi, welcome back. I'm glad you are with me. I am making one of our favorite things that we eat in the summertime, steamed shrimp with homemade cocktail sauce. It's got a little bit of kick in it from cayenne and a little bit of horseradish, actually quite a bit of horseradish. It's my favorite bite. And we're making this beautiful, fresh, grilled corn and tomato and feta salad. Corn grows like crazy around here. You can get some beautiful ears of it at your farmer's market. And I am just crazy about it. All I did was boil this corn for only about five minutes or so in water that had a little bit of sugar and a little bit of butter in it. And now I have a grill pan. Now y'all are gonna have to remind me to check on my corn because I could let it go and then it would be a disaster, wouldn't it? I've preheated my grill pan. We want some good charred marks on our corn. And so I'm gonna lay this corn down over here. Oh yes, here we go. You can start to hear it on my grill pan. Now you could do this outside as a matter of fact. So if you have an outdoor grill, do it outside. Um, but I just have a little grill pan that I really, really love. And so I'm just going to do it over there. We just want to roll it around. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way around like a hot dog or something like that. We just want some good dark charred places. So we're just going to let that sit. Now, I have these really pretty raw Gulf shrimp. I got these at my Harps. My Harps, we have the flagship store, and it has this beautiful fresh seafood. If you do not have access to the fresh, then you can absolutely get frozen shrimp. These are 16 to 20 a pound, so they're big beefy ones. And they have the shell and everything on them, okay? And the way that we're going to steam them at home is in my pasta pan. This is my big pasta pot that has the steamer basket in it. This is so hot, I'm trying to figure out where to sit it. Okay, steamer basket is in it. You do not want to fill your pot where water comes up and through the bottom of your steamer basket. You want just enough in the bottom of your pot to get hot, hot, hot and then steam the shrimp. And this is gonna cook in about five minutes all together. You know, they go in gray and they're gonna come out the color of my necklace. <laughs> if that'll give you a good gauge, they're beautiful. So all I'm gonna do is dump these in the bottom of my pot. See if I can hear my corn, can you hear the corn? And cover them with the lid and let them just steam. I'm gonna check those in just a couple of minutes. Um, wanna give them like a little toss with a spoon and that water that's boiling underneath is just gonna simmer that so nice. That sounds like popcorn, doesn't it? You hear them? Here we go. 
getting a little color. And you can just roll these and spend as much time on them as you would like. I'm just going to roll them around until I get what I like on them. And this is just a little bit of flavor on your corn. Now that shrimp is just going to cook in a few minutes. What's really important for you to know is that this shrimp, steamed shrimp, is so good, of course, coming right out of that hot basket. But it is really good. Our favorite way to eat it is to let it cool at room temperature and then chill it in the refrigerator. You would not, we've talked about this before, you would not want to put shrimp, hot shrimp, in the refrigerator right away when it's still warm. Um, you want to let it cool at room temperature. And that's how they do it at the beach as well. Oh, we're getting color. I just love watching it change. Love watching it change. Okay, a couple more minutes. We're just going to watch it. Okay. In the meantime, I have some, ooh, you're a popcorn. <laughs> it's doing its thing. I'm going to check on it just to be sure. Oh, yes, it's barking a lot, but it doesn't have any bite. It's fine. Ooh, it's getting fun. Love all those little brown spots. Okay, butter for our shrimp. I'm going to just melt this in the microwave for just a second. You could do this on your stovetop as well. You know, most of the time we melt our butter in our little um, pot on the stovetop. But since I kind of have my stove full with all kinds of things going on, this is a whole lot easier. So let me do my stir on our shrimp. It's getting there, it's getting there. Isn't it so pretty? Now shrimp, when it's done, has tails that turn really bright and pretty and coral. And then it goes from being kind of gray translucent to kind of like white and opaque a little bit and that's how you know that they're done. Shrimp will cook very very quickly and you don't want to overcook it. You want to make sure that you have it just right. If your shrimp curl up into a tight tight C shape then you've probably overcooked them. You want them to be in a little bit more of like a relaxed C or a U and that's how you'll know. I am going to stir our butter, I'm going to stir our shrimp, and I'm gonna check on my popcorn that's making all kinds of racket. And when we come back, we're gonna start putting together this salad. This is cooking today. Ice tea, sponsored by Lipton. What I love most about the farmer's market is the music, the art, the food, the people themselves. Uh, that's local, that's Fayetteville. Local means homegrown. My kids can run around, they can choose what she wants to get and eat. I like growing and selling directly to the public. And the market is kind of what community ought to be. Visit us Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on the square. The Fayetteville Farmer's Market. 100% local and love. Hi, welcome back. Oh my goodness, look at all of this. So we've grilled our corn just enough to get some pretty marks on it. Um, on our corn cobs. They are beautiful, tender, with just that little bit of char flavor that is just good. We love a little sear or a little char, don't we? And I've put them in this pan to let them cool. They need to be cool enough to handle so that we can slice the kernels off. Then look at this beautiful shrimp. I told you it was going to look like my necklace. Aren't we pretty? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Steamed perfectly. I just picked it right up out of my steam basket, dumped it down into this container, and while it's hot, you want to pour a little bit of butter on top. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then we're going to shake some Cajun seasoning, some blackening seasoning on it. This is actually my recipe that I have made before, and it's included in this recipe. But we are going to just go ahead and put it on there and then shake it up, shake it up. This is exactly how they do it at the fish market where we go to the beach. They do a little squirt. Actually, they go even heavier than that on the butter. And then do a little shake of Cajun seasoning and then let that sit at room temperature. 
you've got to let it cool, cool down, and then chill it nice and cold in your fridge for the very best steamed peel and eat shrimp with this homemade cocktail sauce. Holy smokes, isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna let this camp out and trade with my corn and that needs to sit until it's nice and cool. Now I'll tell you, it's awesome right now. You can absolutely sit there and eat it. It is delicious, it's great in that cocktail sauce, but there is flavor that develops like crazy when that shrimp sits and gets nice and cool. So you might try it that way. Okay, let's go on to our grilled corn and tomato and feta salad. I'm gonna go ahead and make our little vinaigrette, easy as it can be. We've got a little oil, a couple of teaspoons of rice vinegar, and I'm doing just a little bit of sugar to sweeten that up, and just a pinch of salt. So, so, so easy. This is just a little light toss that's gonna go on our corn and our good tomatoes and our shallots. Mm -mm -mm. Let that sit. I have gone ahead, you can do whatever you want on your shallots. If you like a bigger bite of shallot, then you, you know, keep these rings. If you would rather have it um, chopped, you can chop it. But I made nice, really thin, thin rings. And I think they're just so pretty, that purple color. So I'm just gonna kinda separate the rings with my fingers so that everybody gets a really good, nice sized bite of a shallot. This is the best salad, y'all. Easy as it can be. And that corn is so sweet. Okay, so we've got our shallot. We're gonna do some basil. You can do as much or as little of this basil as you would like. I love it. Love the way that basil tastes with tomatoes. And then you throw in that sweet, sweet corn and this tangy vinaigrette. And I really like a lot of it. So I'm probably going a little bit heavier. You can just do whatever you would like. It's awesome. And the color of the salad is stunning. Okay, there's a little basil. And then we're gonna do about a cup or so of halved grape or cherry tomatoes. I'll tell you what's beautiful. You know, we kind of eat with our eyes. It's gorgeous with this red tomato, but sometimes you can either grow or find some really great heirloom tomatoes. You know the ones that are small that have like some of them are green and some are yellow and some are orange and some are red. If you can find those, then put those in here. Plus those varieties give it such good flavor. You know, each bite's just a little bit different. Oh, it's already so pretty. So I'm gonna do a couple more of these. Our shrimp looks great. Our cocktail sauce is hanging out, developing flavor. I think that looks pretty good. That's probably about a cup, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna give our vinaigrette a little bit of a stir just to be sure that that sugar that's in there dissolves. Oh, this is summertime, summertime, summertime. And then I'm just gonna take my knife. There are all kinds of ways for people to do this. You just do whatever works best for you. I'm just gonna take my knife and go right down these cobs and then get some of the corn off. And I'll tell you, I've seen this trick with the thing where you put it in a bunt pan, you can turn a bunt pan upside down and put that cob right down in the hole and cut the corn and the bunt pan catches the corn. Isn't that so clever? If you feel like doing that, but I've just got this good little pan and a sharp knife and that's the way I'm gonna do it, old school. So I'm gonna work on these corn cobs, get all this good grilled sweet corn off and then when we come back, it's eating time. We're gonna toss this salad, test our vinaigrette and maybe have to even eat a little bit of shrimp with cocktail sauce. I can't wait for you to try this recipe. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome back. We're wrapping up a beautiful summertime dish. Absolutely so fresh and good. Reminds me of vacation with my family. We have steamed spicy, kind of like buttery Cajun shrimp, homemade 
cocktail sauce for that. And then I have gone ahead and pulled all of those kernels off of those cobs. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it into my corn salad. Oh my goodness, with these tomatoes and those shallots on the bottom. And then look, as we start to turn over the color and you see the basil, isn't that beautiful? And then we're going to stir in a little crumbled feta to taste. We like quite a bit of it. I really like the way that it tastes. It's a little bit creamy. And then last but not least, we're going to do a drizzle of our little vinaigrette, our easy little rice wine vinaigrette. Right around and toss. It smells fantastic. And isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Looks like summertime, summertime. Right there. And y'all, I said you need to wait. And you do. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> it's right here in front of me and I can't help it. It smells so good. These are going to have their fullest flavor after they chill for a little bit but I really can't help it. Y'all need to try to make this. It is easy as pie, it is fresh, it is southern, and it is summertime. Love every bite. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Groceries provided by Harps. Hometown Fresh. Online Elements sponsored by Fayetteville Farmers Market.